Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm doing a comparison between the new ESV Quintel from Scholar and the older edition. So let's take a quick look at the new ESV. This is in black pearl calfskin. has a 2016 ESV text, double column layout, bottom page references, has a full set of footnotes, sewn binding, edge lined leather liner, has a full yap, there's the yep. Three three-eighths inch ribbons in navy. Really elegant. The overall size, if you bend this down just a little bit, is six and a quarter by nine and a quarter by one and three eighths. It weighs two pounds, four point six ounces, twenty-eight GSM paper. This is the exclusive paper from Royal Youngblood. Line match text, ten point typeface, slightly smaller typeface than the original but darker than the original because this is more like a semi-bold or a next step up in boldness. Black letter text. It has decorative drop caps. In the back is a table of weights and measures, a concordance, a few pages for notes, and then 12 maps with a map index. Now, I don't have the ESV in the original Quintel, but I do have the New King James, which should be similar enough. So if you have the ESV Quintel, previous edition in 11 point font, please put the specs down below for the width. But if we can see, or the thickness, if we, if we can see the thickness here, we can tell that it's actually noticeably thicker. If it's the same, it is noticeably thicker. And I'll measure this one real fast. Only measuring the block, we have one and one eighth for the new edition. And the new King James is one and a quarter. So it's an eighth inch difference. If you have the 28 GSM ESV in 11 point, please let, let us know down below the size of that one. So I'm going to get that one out of the way for a second because we're going to compare something else. But here is how the text compares. Now, first of all, the, the New King James that I have is dark, but it's not as dark as the, the new ESV. It might not show up that well on camera, though. So let's take a look. So here's Isaiah in both of these editions. So we have a few more words per line, at least one more word per line in the new ESV because of slightly smaller font. So there's how they compare. And let's look at pros. So this isn't a perfect comparison because we have New King James versus the ESV. But the font should be the same in the New King James and the previous edition of the ESV. So here's how they compare. Now both do look good. I have no complaints of either one. There seems to be a little bit more white space in the new ESV which to me gives it a little bit more readability. But that is just me. I could go with either one to be honest. I got no complaints either way. They're both nice. If I could only have one, I would want the new one. Simply because a few more words per line gives you a little bit better layout for poetry and also gives you a little bit better layout for letters and and that sort of thing anything that needs to be indented is going to look better with more words per line but both are nice so you're looking at about an eighth of an inch smaller so let's compare to one more thing here is the new canterbury in full yap so here's how it compares to the new canterbury so the yap is actually a little bit bigger but that is because the text block is smaller. So the darker one, the goat skin, is the Canterbury. The black. Now here's how the leather compares. I'll be honest, I actually prefer the calf skin. I think it's a nicer grain. It's more visually interesting. It has a little bit of variation in there, which catches my attention. The, the black goat skin does look good. It's a really small, pebbly... Not smooth, but a little, a little bit of a pebbly, almost smooth texture. And there's some variation in there, but not much. 
Not as much color variation. There's a little bit of texture variation, which I like. I like a lot. But overall, I think I like the calfskin better. Now, this is not your normal calfskin. This is not the same as the calfskin and the New King James. This is a, a stiff leather. This one is a paste down liner. It's not the same calfskin. There's no comparison between the two. I like the calfskin that they made previously because I like paste down liners if they're made well. And this one is. It's got a reinforcement. And it lies flat. No issues at all with that one. But the new Italian calfskin is a lot nicer leather. Now, which is flimsier? I get, I, I can wrap this goat skin all the way back on itself and it, it doesn't try to fight me too bad. The Italian calf skin, I get it about halfway and it wants to fight me. I can make it go down, but it's not as flexible, in other words. So if you're looking for flexibility, goat skin is your better choice. If you're looking for something that just looks interesting to the eye, I would go with this black, black pearl calf skin. That's my opinion. Now, just a quick glance at how the King James text compares. We can see that both do have drop caps, but the drop caps in the King James are larger than the drop caps in the in the ESV. I personally think the drop caps in the ESV look a little better. And the reason for this is that they are a little bit easier on the eye. Or they don't, they don't take up as much space. That's my main thing there. They don't take up as much space. So that is my look at the new ESV compared to the full yap goat skin Canterbury and the new King James calf skin. Previous version calf skin that they don't make anymore, which I wish they would, but they don't. This Bible was supplied by the publisher in exchange for an honest review. So I'll place links in the notes so that you can make a purchase if you're interested. Also links to the reviews. And then if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.